Hello friends, good morning and welcome back. Today I want to teach you um, about patterns. A pattern is something that keeps repeating. So patterns can be two different colors, they can be two different kinds of animals, they could be two different kinds of objects, but it's like they take turns. It's one object, let's say a color, green, red, green, red, green, red. It keeps repeating and repeating. And that can help you to guess what color will come next or what object will come next. So today we'll talk about patterns. I have a couple things to show you about what you can do to make a pattern. Okay, friends. So the first pattern that we'll make today is a color pattern. So I'm going to use two different colors, blue and red. So remember what I said about patterns, that it's like each color or each object gets to take a turn. So look, blue, red, next blue's turn, then red's turn again. Blue, red, blue, red, what will come next? Whose turn is it now? Blue, red, blue, red, blue, blue's turn. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. That's right, red. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. That is a pattern. Let's count how many of our muffin counters we used. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six muffin counters for this pattern. Let's do another one. Next, I'm going to use two different animals, a bunny and a chick. Ready? Bunnies first, then chick. Whose turn is next? Bunny, chick, bunny. Bunny, chick, bunny, chick. Bunny, chick, bunny, chick bunny. And whose turn is next? Chick. Bunny, chick, bunny, chick, bunny, chick. There's the bunny and chick pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bunnies and chicks. And let's do one more. This time I'm going to use candies, different kinds of chocolates. Ready? Gold chocolate, red chocolate, gold chocolate, red chocolate, gold chocolate, red chocolate, gold chocolate, red chocolate, gold, red, gold, red, gold, red. How many do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six again. So those are the patterns for the chocolates. And friends, you can even make patterns with things other than objects. You can make patterns with sounds, you can make patterns with motions. So I wanted to show you another way to make a pattern. Remember, two different things taking turns. Let's try two different motions and sounds, ready? How about pat, and then that's one, pat, clap. Okay, we've got two, pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap. That's a pattern too. You can try that one. Pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap. You can even use words to make a sound like a pattern. How about, hmm, how about two different colors that I'll sing to make a pattern with words, ready? Pink, blue, 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 pink, blue. <laughs> That's a silly one, but it also shows you a pattern. So patterns can be all kinds of things and you can find patterns everywhere. Sometimes you can make, a, remember at school we would make bracelets Sometimes I saw friends making patterns with their bracelets using two different colors. You can see patterns in clothes. Maybe your shirt or your dress has a different really cool pattern on it. 
So you'll see patterns all over. And now you know how to make patterns on your own. You could do it while you're drawing, you could do it while you're making jewelry, you could do it while you're singing. Patterns are really fun. I hope you enjoyed this one, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And Robin, as always, is ready for her breakfast. Okay, Robin, will you pop up to say hello? Yep, <laughs> hello, good morning. And here's your, oh, pop up a couple times. You're really hungry. There you go. Okay, Robin.